One feature that XSplit Gamecaster does not have is the ability to natively use Stinger transitions. Those are transitions that utilize other video clips or images, often with a transparent background, to have a more dynamic scene change instead of the usual cut, fade, etc. However, that doesn't mean that you can't use them, you just have to do it in more of the old school way and get kind of creative. Even better, I'm actually going to show you a real way to do it, because the good thing about XSplit Gamecaster, but also bad for this course, is that they are always updating it, which means they've actually added in official Stinger Transition support while I was making this course. So I shot this whole video. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to show you how to do it and a really cool way to do it, but I'm also going to show you my original workaround in case you don't have real Stinger Transitions available, because I think it's valuable to see it both ways. We're going to get into it after a word from this course episode sponsor. You ever look at the Elgato Stream Deck and think, man, I wish I could have all of that power in the palm of my hands. Well, now you can. Install the app on iOS or Android, connect your Stream Deck software on PC, and start setting up your program launchers, CPU monitors, button to control your key lights, and stream scene switching, all within minutes. It doesn't get much easier than this. Try it free with the link in the video description. I'm Eples Fox, and welcome back to my XSplit Masterclass, sponsored by XSplit. I do want to point out that this video is specifically about XSplit Gamecaster and the workaround for it. We cover Broadcaster later in this course, but as is, Broadcaster actually supports Stinger transitions natively in the software, so no workaround is required, whereas Gamecaster does not, so we're using a workaround. Makes sense? As mentioned, Stinger transitions, not Stringer transitions, I can't even say that right, but... <laughs> are quick transitions between scenes that first cover the scene in another visual or graphic. This concept may sound unfamiliar, but you've seen it many times in your favorite sports broadcasts, TV news, and maybe even some of your favorite YouTube channels or live streams. While they can get obnoxious if they're overused, Stinger transitions can inject a little bit more production value and, you know, branding into your live streams. Unfortunately, most consumer broadcasting software does not have support for these kinds of things, so we gotta, you know, find ways to do it ourselves. Typically, they are handled on actual hardware video mixers like Blackmagic's ATEM line. Not computer software anyway, but that's fine. I do have a way to make it possible, and it's dead simple. But for the time being, it won't work super well with transitions designed for transparent backgrounds. That being said, before we dive in, I did want to call out that Gamecaster does have quite a few good transition options built into the software. Above your scene list in the main window towards the right-hand side is a drop-down menu that probably says no transition by default. Clicking it gives you a plethora of options. Cut, different fades, uh, fanning, zooming, bouncing, sliding, and more. For a lot of streamers, this may be all you're looking for. That's, there's a lot of transitions here. If so, see which one works best for your stream and use it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, so we're here in XSplit Gamecaster, and you can actually go up to your username and release notes and see the updates. So you can see here, custom stingers are a go. And it tells you how to do it, and I'm going to walk you through that. I have some considerations from the rest of this original video uh, with regards to using stinger transitions that you've already seen, and I'll show a little bit more of. But to include it, you go to C, Program Files x86, Split Media Labs, XSplit Gamecaster and Transitions. And you should have like a, a, a default file here, but nothing else. Go find your WebM transition files. They need to be WebMs and copy them to this location. You may need to approve admin rights for actually pasting in these program files folder, but then you're good to go. Close and relaunch XSplit Gamecaster. Once it loads up here under your transitions list, towards the top, at least for me, you should have your list of your custom Stinger transitions. And you can select from them. And for the most part, you're good to go. You can start switching scenes. However, you may notice that the ones that I'm showing here are out of sync. Both of them are. You know, it cuts before the transition's fully ready to go. And that's because you need to go to the bottom of the list and manually change the duration of the Stinger transition. And what this basically changes is how long the transition process waits before cutting scenes. That way it's not cutting to the next scene before your transition covers the screen because that defeats the point. It's default 700 milliseconds. That's not quite right for me. It's easier if you do this in your video editor when you were making the transition and just find the point where the screen is fully covered. And so for, you know, multiply your frame rate by how many seconds that is or your video editor might give you a millisecond time. And otherwise, you just kind of got a spot check and see what looks good for you. But once you get set up here, that is pretty much all you need. You have your transitions ready to go. You got cool stinger transitions. Of course, keep in mind, you only have one duration option here. So if you're changing it back and forth and you have different 
cut points, then that's going to look a little awkward because you're cutting at different points per transition and you don't get full control over that. But it's great that they added it here. And I'm still going to show you the workaround from the original part of this video as if you don't have actual stinger transition files, you just have like a video or an image that you want to use as a stinger. My previous workaround is still quite effective. For those who want to show a custom graphic or something like that, you know, stinger transition like, we'll need to utilize an extra scene for this. So go ahead and click add scene. Feel free to just name it transition. Now click edit scene. Here we're actually going to hide your main source as we don't really want it showing in the scene. Instead, we're going to click add widget and choose custom video from the list. Or if you're just using an image, choose an image source instead. For a custom video source, you can either choose a local file and upload it to XSplit's online service to sync with your account, choose a file already in your XSplit account, or add video via URL from a direct, you know, cloud storage option as well. There's some serious creative potential made possible by being able to use URL based videos, so that's pretty neat. Once you've added your video file to the scene, you might have to convert the file type to get it to play nicely with Gamecaster, uh, but now you have a dedicated transition scene. Utilize your hotkeys or a timed multi-action on something like the Elgato Stream Deck to switch from the scene that you're on to the transition scene, and then from that transition scene back to the scene that you wish to transition to, you know, at the right time. Since alpha channel overlays really don't work here since you don't have scenes on top of each other, you can combine this with the built-in transition effects in Gamecaster to get pretty close to a stinker transition animation overlaying on top of your scene as possible. Get creative and have fun. As I've said before, if your stream is on the same scene for hours and hours and hours, it's probably not a very entertaining one. So utilizing transitions in this way can really help bring your stream to life. Thanks for watching this episode of my XSplit Masterclass. I'm Eples Fox here to make tech easier and more fun. Get subscribed, hit the like button, share the course with someone else, and I'll see you next time. Ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 da.